it disrupts it. That can be creative, as you said, but it is enormously disruptive, distracting, and it takes them a lot of time to get on top of their new brief. And there's no point pretending otherwise. And we at the Institute for Government argue against reshuffles uh, in many, many circumstances because uh, just because of the value of having ministers who know their subject, who know what they're um, they're talking about. Same for civil servants, incidentally. And so you've got one really peculiar move in here. Um, Steve Barclay, Chief Secretary of the Treasury, being moved about five weeks before the the um, really important spending review that the government's doing for it's setting all its spending on key public services programmes for the next few years. And that is, how can I say, really not helpful to that process. Obviously, the Chancellor is still there, but you're taking out a key minister uh, on top of his brief um, at a key point. So one shouldn't underestimate the the sheer disruptive effect of um, uh, to any government of doing this.